last month's presidential debate, when Kamala Harris suggested that viewers listen to one of Donald Trump's rallies, she did that because she wanted to mention the relative crowd size and get him ranting about whatever he was going to rant about, and she succeeded. But she was also on to something. Now, I know that many of us, including me, have tried to tune Trump out as much as possible over the last few years as kind of a, a way to keep ourselves more mentally balanced and because we just find him so frightening and annoying. But in the final days of this election, it is worth listening to his rallies because we have to understand just how unhinged he has become, just how his declining abilities to communicate, to stand up straight, to finish a sentence, all of these things, and the anger that has now really bubbled up to the surface in a much stronger way, the profanities, the lashing out, the way, the way he's spoken about who his enemies are and what he plans to do to them, you have to listen to these rallies. You have to pull up these clips on YouTube, find them in newscasts, find them on podcasts, because that is what we are up against. And the most frightening thing, once you've done that, is that at the very least 45% of the American people are going to vote for that. And when you think of that, for me it is impossible not to be deeply, deeply concerned about the ability of this country to hold together, regardless of who wins this election in two weeks.